hey let's try this again so i recorded the first video it didn't save so i'm doing this again but you know that sometimes that's the process in life so creighton moxie here i uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys that you as you would have recently known i would have sold a home in exoma at last asking uh called the palm grove the last asking price on it was four million net and i wanted to just take a moment to talk about that transaction a bit because i feel that the insight that i gained from it and found very valuable could actually be valuable to other individuals on your own journey as we all progress towards what our definition of success is and the things that we have interest in so i wanted to talk about what led up to this transaction and i'm going to try to be as brief as possible i would have had an individual approach me on the island of exoma inquiring about a lot uh, the lot was an inland lot and they wanted to buy it so that they could eventually develop their first home start their family you know they're actually now uh in the process of of uh being engaged getting married so and so you know they're thinking family stuff which is, is always great uh so i would have actually connected with this individual i would have found them a lot that matched up with the things that they were looking for uh in terms of real estate we went through the process of negotiating on it and needless to say uh we were successful in that process and they would have found a lot that they felt uh, lined up with what they wanted. Now the price on that purchase was about $35,000. And from a real estate perspective, most people may look at that and be like, you know, that's not the biggest transaction. Uh, but nonetheless, I would have provided the same level of service that I would provide to any client, went above and beyond, negotiated as feverishly as possible, uh, and would have been tenacious in the process to execute on this for them. And we had success so jump forward a bit into the future and it's always crazy looking back at things in hindsight that's why it's always important to deliver the best of you or the best version of you to every client that you have so fast forward a bit this same client right is a private chef on the island of exoma and how exoma works is we have a lot of luxury homes over here and you do have a lot of property management and a lot of private chefs that are utilized frequently by the guests guests coming in town uh are usually spending about say anywhere from like eight thousand to ten thousand dollars a week and up uh to rent these places so it's a high caliber of clientele and these chefs interact with them frequently so after my chef would have provided her expert level of service to these clients they would have actually indicated to her that they were looking for a home in exoma and they wanted that home to be in the 3.5 million to 4.5 million dollar range and upon them saying that my client would have actually indicated to them that she had the perfect person that they needed to connect with that could help them in this process and she connected them with me she connected them with me we eventually found one house which was an amazing house we had a signed letter of intent for that house and the deal fell through so what happened there is that this client these clients would have been purchasing, but the seller they would have been purchasing from uh, was from another country. And in that, in that country, they would have been changing the capital gains laws. So that would have affected the profit that the seller would have actually made on their transaction. So they decided not to go through with it uh, anymore. So that deal failed, right? But the failure, what I've learned is always like, it can either be temporary, you can let that failure make you and break you. I definitely didn't feel good. I actually got sick around that time because the failure really affected me a, a good amount then. But I, I, you know, I kept pushing forward. So these clients that would have originally been purchasing, they actually still were coming to the island because this is how, we, this is how close we were. Like they were still coming to the island because they were going to stay in the house, inspect it, and then they were going to sign the sales agreement and move forward to an efficient closing. So they were still coming to the island. They said, Creighton, you know, we've enjoyed the process with you. If you can find anything else for us, uh, we would certainly check it out and see where we go from there. So I started scrambling, obviously, because I have to find these guys something on the island of Exuma where inventory is very low and it's, it's hard to come across quality homes uh, that are actually for sale at the level they were looking at. And anything that's selling at that level is going to be a very, very quality home. And most people aren't necessarily looking to sell it. So let's rewind a bit. I had already, I was interacting with both sides of the previous transaction. So the buyer and the seller. And the seller liked the way which I communicated with him. Uh, so I'm not going to go too much into his career. But he understands like 
exactly the struggles that I was going through and you know the process and him and his wife really wanted to to see me get a sale in this process so they said Creighton you know we understand our transaction didn't go through but we love the way you communicated we love the way you provided high quality service and here's what we're going to do for you we're going to connect you to some other homeowners we know on the island and we're going to see uh you know if any of them may be interested in selling obviously we'll connect you you have to talk to them and see if they have any interest and those connections actually led to me getting connected with the current sellers on the new house so i haven't told you about the new house yet but i'm gonna get to that right now so my sellers my buyers come to the island right i show them a few homes i show them the home that i recently sold palm grove exuma and they love it they fall in love with the home. We get a deal going for around the same amount as the previous deal. And now we're closed. So I know that's, that, that story, right? It like kind of like went around the place. And I probably might have told it a little better in the first video. It probably went around the place. But I just wanted to share that because a lot of times we go through situations, right? Where we're blessed with like small things and we don't see it as blessings. Like that $35,000 deal, when that person contacted me, I could have looked at it and been like, oh, this is $35,000 and worked with that same attitude and not been able to advance. But because I looked at it as, you know, the relationship and helping people and actually just being the best version of me, regardless of what the situation is, I was able to provide excellent service and get a referral, which is this, which is really the foundation that this business is built on or a successful version of this business. So because I offered quality service, I was able to get the referral that advanced me to that point. And because I looked at the 35 with the same level of attention to detail that I looked at the 4 million, I was able to actually get to the point of the 4 million. So I pretty much say all of that to say, in life, we all have blessings, right? We all have our different things that are going on in life. But in the midst of everything going on, we all have our own type of opportunity. But it's up to you as an individual to capitalize on the opportunities that are made available to you. So a lot of people look around in life right now like, oh man, this is happening, that is happening, like this problem is happening, that problem is happening. And you could have that mentality, right? And use that in different levels. Like it could be one positive angle of that mentality and one negative angle of that mentality. So what I've learned is business is solutions, right? You could look at that same situation and be like, Oh, this happening, that happening in a negative frame and not find a solution. Or you could look at the same things you pointed as negatives or the same things going on in your life and point them out as negatives and not try to find a solution which would actually create a whole business for you. So I realized life is all about perspectives. It's all about being grateful, being blessed. You know, like t for example, today is a cloudy day, right? But the sun always comes out and shines. And even in the midst of it being cloudy, it's still very beautiful because God bless the Bahamas especially well. But if you don't even have the mindset to see the opportunity and the beauty around you, you'll never be able to capitalize. So I just wanted to shine a little insight because I know a lot of people uh, may usually achieve like big things or specifically in the industry of real estate, like, you know, have big sales and stuff like that. But there's not an insight truly often into the process of how they achieve those things. And I feel like by me giving just a bit of this insight, it shows you that, you know, if you're in a situation where you're starting with the smaller, you can build, you can build, you can build, and you can eventually get it to the higher levels that you may have in your mind for yourself to be able to achieve. But you have to understand that it's a process. I am very familiar with the process of struggle. I've been an entrepreneur from I came out of college, uh, which I was blessed to be able to go to thanks to my mother. But I've been an entrepreneur since I came out of college and I'm used to the process of struggling, struggling, struggling. And real estate has been no different. You know, you start in the process, you're struggling, but you got to understand that everything compounds. You put in those efforts, you build those relationships. You may not see the blessings you really wanted right then. But a blessing is a blessing and if you build on top of those blessings you're able to advance and really execute on the things you want to do and really advance so i just wanted to take a little bit of time this morning i know it was a lot more time i think the first video i did was like seven minutes this one is almost 10. uh just to share some insight with you guys and hopefully ins hopefully inspire some of you to chase your dreams you know i'm a i'm a black boy in the bahamas with visions just like some of you and 
you know, you always have to see past like your current circumstances and just keep pushing, pushing, pushing and executing. And if I could do it, I'm certain you could do it. But you have to have faith in yourself. You have to understand that life is a journey. The process is a marathon and things won't come instant. But if you put in the right amount of work, they will come eventually. So all of you be blessed. Understand that God's timing is always the best timing.